brace yourself for a cold night ahead. Temperatures are below freezing and the wind chill is even colder. Emergency management officials in Hawaii are apologizing for an accidental cell phone alert warning of an inbound ballistic missile threat. The mistake sent the island into a panic. 911 lines were flooded with calls and cars were abandoned on the side of the road. Now, some stern words from the United Nations after President Trump was accused of using foul language to describe countries of certain immigrants. The president tweeted that he used what he described as quote tough language but denied using the obscenity reported by the Washington Post and senators inside that meeting. Well Monday's holiday celebrates the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and today in Montgomery several community members honor Dr. King by giving back. Now we know that love goes into any service project like that one but it when it's as cold as it was today you know there's a little extra love. Back there. Yes I'm uh, definitely glad that uh, they were able to come together for a good cause but of course I'm pretty sure there were some breaks where they had to go inside and warm Just up a little bit of this exactly. <laughs> a, a lot of bit of that yeah <laughs> a government shutdown takes effect good evening i'm morgan young the anniversary of president trump's inauguration will now also be remembered as the day the federal government came to a halt last night the senate failed to reach the 60 vote threshold plunging the federal government into partial shutdown today a flurry of negotiations as both sides play the blame game edward lawrence has this developing story from washington an anniversary party at Mar-a-Lago for the president's inauguration will go on as planned tonight. Eric Trump and Donald Trump Jr. will go in their father's place. Tomorrow, thousands of men and women will gather in Las Vegas for the Women's March. The theme for this year's march is Power to the Polls. The event will launch a national voter registration tour. Today, hundreds of people gathered here in the capital city to march for that same cause. WSFA 12 News reporter Samantha Day joins us live in the newsroom. Samantha, you were out there today for Montgomery's Women's March. What does this event mean to the capital city? Five titles in nine years. Alabama fans soaked it all in today in Tuscaloosa. The Crimson Tide held a public celebration after winning its most recent championship ring in overtime over Georgia and Atlanta. I'm excited about that. I'm also excited about Nick Saban just casually going through his parade in his super cool car. I know, with Miss Gary and her fur. Gold. She's just, they're <laughs> fabulous. I'll, I'll use the word fabulous, Yo, and I'll join. The, the joy I have right now, I can't. Thank you so much. <laughs>